A Step Into the Past Volume 3 Chapter 3 Book 3 Chap 3 A Euro Turbulence in the Camp That night Xiang Xiaolong did not sleep a wink after he returned to his room, and spent the night thinking. Under Ding Xiao and W.A. Chia Euro Trademark S. Escort, the convoy passed the Zhang River and entered the wilderness that belongs to the state of Wei. Lady Ya knows that he is still angry so she stayed inside the carriage and did not bother him. Xiao Xiao and the other maids looked unhappy and sad, because Lady Ya has given strict orders and they dared not speak to him. Prince Xiao Yuan deliberately showed his uncooperativeness by lagging behind and slowing down the group. Xiang Xiaolong was confident and was not bothered at all. By dusk, the A Euro trademark VE only managed to travel about twenty odd li. By now Xiang Xiaolong got Euro trademark S attention was solely on the enemy who will appear any time now. He chose a highland with a mountain backing it to set up camp. Xiang Xiaolong placed his own commander A Euro trademark S tent as well as Lady Ya and Zhao Qian A Euro trademark S tents in the middle next to the mountain. The remaining 500 warriors split into three groups to set up their tents to the extreme right. Prince Xie Yu and a Euro trademark S tents were set up at the extreme left, which shows an obvious divide in the camps. Naturally Xiang Xiaolong knows what he is up to, because tonight the highly skilled martial artist sent by Prince Xinling will infiltrate into Zhao Qian a Euro trademark S camp from his side before setting off drug-inducing smoke so that he can sneak into Zhao Qian a Euro trademark S tent and despoil her. And the person who volunteered to do this is Prince Xiao Yuan. If not for the fact that Xiang Xiaolong is aware of their plot, eat a Euro trademark S very possible that they have a high chance of success. Who would think that the Euro trademark D have to be on the alert against an inside thief? Xiang Xiaolong stood straight at the highest point of the mountain, looking at the rolling hills below him and secretly thought to himself that no wonder Prince Xinlin got Euro trademark S men would choose this place to strike. That a Euro trademark S because even when one is near the area, they will be difficult to spot and Prince Xiao Yuan knows this secret, that a Euro trademark S why he deliberately delayed the journey. By now Cheng Su has come up to him and commented, A Euro -E I did not know that Imperial Protector is so well versed in setting camp. Even Zha Yuan Yu who thinks of himself as an expert was complimenting your layout for being convenient and flexible and He Euro Trademark S extremely impressed A Euro Xiang Xiaolong thought to himself that He Euro Trademark S had 2000 more years of experience since their time, naturally He Euro Trademark S good at it but when he replied, he was very humble instead. Cheng Su lowered his voice, A Euro EIA Euro trademark VE sent my trusted aide to make contact with your man Wu Zhou and told him not to come to the camp for the time being. Hey! I think Sir feels that something is happening A Euro Xiang Xiaolong thought to himself that this is not a feeling, but A A Euro fact A Euro trademark. He is dealing with Prince Xiao Yuan tonight so he does not want Wu Zhou Euro trademark S men to be embroiled in all this so that things will not be even more complicated. Right at this time Zha Yuanyu who is in charge of setting up camp came to them to report that his task is accomplished. Although Xiang Xiaolong knows that no matter if Ida Euro trademark S Hu Huawei who has an old enmity with him, or Xiao Waimu and his team of assassins from Qi, they will only strike when he Euro trademark S deep into the state of Wei so that he won a Euro trademark T be able to run back to Zhao. Therefore he instructed Zha Yunyu to remove the forty carts from the mules and line them along the circumference of the camp so that they can be the first line of barriers against enemy attacks. This move made Zha Yunyu even more confident about him and he went gladly on his way to work. Cheng Su saw that he is so insightful and was even more in awe of him. Xiang Xiaolong was silent for a moment before he said in a lowered voice, A Euro -E I have something really important for you to do but you must not ask the reason why. Find me a group of soldiers with good arm strength and prepare tools for digging ditches and await my orders. But you must hide it from others, especially Prince Xiao Yuan, understand, a Euro Cheng Su thought that he was going lay traps around the camp and left to follow his orders. Xiang Xiaolong prepared himself for quite some time, sighed deeply and forced himself to look for Lady Ye. In order to deal with Prince Xiao Yuan, he can only make peace with her. The soldiers were setting the fire to prepare dinner and when they saw Xiang Xiaolong, they greeted this commander respectfully from the bottom of their hearts. 
Xiang Xiaolong was secretly happy and knows that the incident where he killed Su Hai has been imprinted in their minds. When he give them commands in future, eat a Euro trademark LL be a lot easier. The cloth that separated the camp from the tents came slowly into view. Zhao Da and the other two were chatting with a few of Zhao Qiana Euro trademark s personal guards and they stood at attention when they saw Xiang Xiaolong. After Xiang Xiaolong smiled and greeted them, he went into the restricted area of the camp. There are four tents in there, Lady Ya and Zhao Qian stays in the bigger tents. Xiao Zhao and the other mates were preparing dinner at the empty space and was ecstatic when they saw Xiang Xiao Long. Xiao Zhao and Xiao Mei even lowered their head and cried. Xiang Xiao Long replied them with a smile and went into Lady Ya Euro trademark s private tent. Zhao Ya was sitting numbly at a corner, her eyes swollen, Obviously she has been crying. Xiang Xiaolong secretly sighed again, and began to understand that he is growing to love her more and more, that a Euro trademark s why he could not tolerate her outrageous past or her being close with other men from now on. Zhao Ya saw him coming in and she stood up in alarm and joy, unable to believe her eyes and cried out, A Euro Xiaolong, A Euro Xiang Xiaolong smiled, A Euro Iu A Euro trademark re not allowed to cry. I a euro trademark LL leave if you cry a euro Zhao Ya forced her tears back and shouted, throwing herself into his arms, her shoulders shaking but she dared not cry out loud. Naturally Xiang Xiaolong got euro trademark s shoulder was soon wet. Xiang Xiaolong caressed her back and said gently, a euro Ido you still dare to be disobedient in future, a euro Zhao Ya shook her head furiously, meek as a lamb. Xiang Xiaolong hugged her and sat down wiped away her tease and said with a smile, A Yuroi now let me test how obedient you are. Now go and look for Zhao Qian and tell her that tonight, I want all the women in here to hide in my tent. This must be kept a secret A Euro Zhao Ya looked at him in shock, but is afraid that She Euro trademark LL offend him again so she kept nodding her head, looking so obedient yet pitiful. How enchanting! Xiang Xiaolong came a Euro trademark T bear to see her like that so he whispered in her ear, A Euro EI A Euro trademark am afraid that someone will sneak in tonight and do something bad to her, A Euro Zhao Ya heard his gentle tone and she became bolder and kissed him cautiously, saying, A Euro I you really will forgive me, A Euro Xiang Xiaolong smiled and nodded. Zhao Ya stole a peek at him and asked, A Euro I you really want a Euro trademark T put it to heart at all? A Euro Xiang Xiao Long sighed, A Euro Ri what can I do? Who told me to love you so much that I can a Euro trademark T stay away, A Euro Zhao Ya gave a shout of cheer and kissed him. After a long while, Zhao Ya said with much sufferance, A Euro I you almost scared me to death, if you do that to me again, I can only die A Euro her pretty eyes reddened again. Xiang Xiao Long felt bad for her and after consoling her, slapped her heart on her buttocks and commanded, A Euro ear and a Euro trademark T you setting off to work for me, A Euro Zhao Ya stood up and holding his hand, asked, A Euro if Zhao Qian were to ask me, how did Xiang Xiao Long know that someone is going to attack her camp, how should I answer her, A Euro Xiang Xiao Long knows that she has been assured and his alertness has returned. He knows that She Euro trademark s using Zhao Qian as an excuse to ask him, so he laughed and said, A Euro at an A Euro trademark T worry. She will trust me absolutely, just do as I say A Euro Zhao Ya was frightened and exclaimed, A Euro Xiaolong. Eat A Euro trademark S not that I don't A Euro trademark T trust you. I A Euro trademark am just curious. And you still want to treat me like that A Euro Xiang Xiaolong saw how expressive she looked and felt his desire rising but he knows that tonight is not the time to have such fun so he kept his urge down and pushed her out of the tent. He then went to look for Cheng Su, A Euro Ei I want you to dig a few holes that can hide some people around 3rd Princess A Euro trademark S main tent, and at the same time find 20 expert archers to hide with us in the holes and enjoy the grand event that a Euro trademark s about to happen a Euro Cheng Su was dumbfounded on hearing that. After giving instructions about the details, Xiang Xiaolong chortled and returned to his tent for his meal. The cold wind swept through the land. The crescent moon hung high up on the sky, illuminating the camp that was in total darkness. Besides the soldiers patrolling the circumference of the camp, 
everyone else was sound asleep after a tiring day of travel. Xiang Xiaolong, Cheng Su, Zhao Dei, Zhao Wu, Zhao Qi, and the twenty archers were the exception. They were hidden separately in the hidden holes at the four corners surrounding Zhao Qiana Euro trademark S tent, waiting for the grand event that Xiang Xiaolong said will happen. They have fought to stay alert for many hours, and that is certainly not a comfortable stay. In another four hours the dawn will break. Just as Xiang Xiaolong got Euro trademark S own confidence was a little shaken as well, there was a sound that came from Prince Xie Yuan a Euro trademark S side of the camp. Everyone was immediately refreshed and using the moonlight and their eyes which has long been accustomed to the darkness, they turned towards the direction of the sound and stared. A skinny and short shadow that looks like the size of a child snuck in quietly. He moved nimbly to the nearest tent and in his hand he was holding a pipe-looking thing. A faint light was seen. Everyone could clearly see that the intruder is a wretched-looking man who is as skinny as a monkey, his hand holding something that looks like a tiny stove with a round pipe attached to it, and the fire was lighted in the stove. That person waited until the firelight in the stove was steady before he pushed the tube that was emitting smoke under the tent. Xiang Xiaolong dared not even exhale loudly, looking at this person working slowly as he put the drugged smoke into the four tents. That person let out a bird cry, obviously the signal to summon his gang and truly, ten odd people came over and spread out at the various important positions, surrounding the four tents. Another five or six people came later, one of them is naturally Prince Xiao Yuan. Everyone worked quietly, not daring to make any noise. The atmosphere was tense and heavy. Prince Xiao Yuan went to the door of Zhao Qiana Euro trademark S camp while the others moved to the tents of the maids, leaving only Lady Ye Euro trademark S tent, which no one touched. Xiang Xiaolong was fuming as he saw this, these beasts won a Euro trademark T even let innocent maids off. If not for the face that Lady Ye is also Prince Xie Yuan a Euro trademark S target, and there is no way he can split himself, she would not have escaped tonight as well. Once the stove that sent the drugging smoke was extinguished, the short man made a hand signal and Prince Xiao Yuan and his men moved unanimously into the tents. Xiang Xiao Long knows that eat a Euro trademark S time and he gave the secret signal. A A Euro Chuk Chuk A Euro trademark sound was heard. The light arrows shot out from the heavy bows in the holes, eliminating the ten odd men who were keeping a lookout around the camp. Prince Xiao Yuan and the rest realized the tents were empty and they cried out in alarm, but by then the ten odd men outside already fell to the ground with a cry. Torches were lit. Another group of soldiers led by Xia Yuan Yu surrounded the ladies' camp. Those who snuck into the tents rushed out of it. By now Xiang Xiaolong and his men threw away their bows and jumped out of the holes with their swords drawn, starting a merciless attack on them. For a moment the sounds of weapons clashing and battle cries thundered in the air. The person Xiang Xiaolong targeted was Prince Xiao Yuan so he took out a flying needle first and threw it at his thigh just as he was scrambling out of the tent. Prince Xiao Yuan screamed and fell to the floor, dropping the sword in his hand. Xiang Xiaolong dashed forward and kicked him hard on the groin. Prince Xiao Yuan screamed like a pig being slaughtered, his cries echoing in the night sky and he collapsed onto the ground the heart-wrenching pain making him squirm violently on the floor. He does not even have the strength to strike now. Xiang Xiaolong moved diagonally across, his sword shone, and decapitated an enemy who was about to retaliate. Thus the battle ended, with the enemies either killed instantly or seriously injured and captured, none escaped. The whole camp was a flurry of activity. The soldiers all ran towards them. Lady Ping Yuan who was waiting for good news at the other side rushed over with her family warriors as well. The cloth surrounding the tents were pulled down, the torches illuminating everything as if it was daylight. Zha Yuan Yu a Euro trademark S men stopped Lady Ping Yuan a Euro trademark S men from charging over. Xiang Xiao Long chortled and walked over to Prince Xiao Yuan who was still writhing in pain on the ground and gave him a hard kick on his waist so that he turned over in pain. He then stepped on his chest, his long sword pointing at his throat and smiled at Prince Xiao Yuan whose muscles twitched so much that his face was contorted and said, A Euro Ihe. So eat a Euro trademark S Prince Xiao Yuan, 
I a euro trademark am sorry if I a euro trademark ve offended you a euro lady ping you and a euro trademark s angry and frightened voice rose up, a euro xiang xiao long, a euro xiang xiao long was still staring at prince xiao yuan as he shouted, a euro i want you how can you be so rude towards lady, quickly invite lady over a euro by now lady ya and zhao qian emerged from the commander a euro trademark s tent and looking at the person next to xiang xiao long and the surroundings. They all knew clearly what had happened. Although a few hundred people surrounded them, no one said a word, and only the crackling sound of the burning torches were heard. Lady Ping Yuan walked over furiously and exclaimed, A Euro ear and a Euro trademark T you going to release my son quickly a Euro Prince Xiao Yuan was about to say something when Xiang Shi along got Euro trademark S long sword moved forward, the tip of the sword in his mouth. He was so frightened he dared not move and even his moans stopped. Xiang Xiaolong looked at Lady Ping Yuan icily and said somberly, A Euro Oei, Xiang Xiaolong, has been given an important task to escort Princess to Daliang. Now Prince Xiao Yuan is in cahoots with outsiders and released drugged smoke in an attempt to outrage Princess A Euro trademark S modesty. How is Lady going to explain all these A Euro Lady Ping Yuan saw her son A Euro trademark S bloodied leg and she was at a total loss and anxiously cried out, A Euro I'll let him go first before we talk A Euro Xiang Shi along Ga Euro trademark S eyes was stern as he said determinately, A Euro Eno. I am going to execute him on the spot, and bear all responsibilities. At the most we will return to Zhao immediately and I will let His Majesty decide my fate A Euro Lady Ping Yuan turned pale and her lips trembled as she uttered, A Euro how dare you, A Euro. Zhao Qian A Euro trademark S sweet voice said frostily, A Euro a such a man is worse than a beast, Imperial Protector Xiang, kill him for me, A Euro although Lady Ya felt that eat A Euro trademark S inappropriate. She dared not interrupt for fear that Xiang Xiaolong will misunderstand that she is trying to protect Prince Xiao Yuan. Xiang Xiaolong deliberately revealed a cold and cruel smile and looked at Lady Ping Yuan challengingly. Lady Ping Yuan looked as if she has suddenly aged, and she cried out, A Euro a fine. What do you want before you a Euro trademark LL let my son go A Euro Xiang Xiaolong turned his head and looked at Zhao Qian, asking with a straight face. A Euro a will third princess allow your subordinate to handle this matter totally A Euro Zhao Qian A Euro trademark S pretty face blushed and dared not look at him but she lowered her head and nodded slightly. Xiang Xiao Long saw how gentle this beauty is and other ideas rose in his head, but he remembered that she is going to marry away and thought it such a pity. He turned his head back towards Lady Ping Yuan and said, A Euro e I can stop pursuing this matter but Lady must write a letter of guarantee that Prince Xiao Yuan must never again harbor such beastly thoughts towards Princess. What does Lady think, A Euro? Lady Ping Yuan gritted her teeth so hard that her silver tooth casing almost cracked. This move of Xiang Xiao Long is really formidable, such that she is forced into never bringing this up in front of the King of Zhao to complain against him. Xiang Xiao Long is extremely confident, because he knows that she still need to make use of him to assassinate the King of Wei so he Euro trademark s not worried that she will not concede. Lady Ping Yuan was silent for a moment before she finally admitted defeat, a Euro a fine. Yua Euro trademark re good a Euro Xiang Xiao Long smiled and said, a Euro f one who is good is lady, I am just a little lucky a Euro.